To get us started with Flexbox, I have some very simple HTML and CSS that I'm going to walk you through. The HTML is pretty standard. The head tag contains what you would normally find and a link to the styles CSS file. The body, we have a parent div tag that has a class container. Now this parent container has nine divs as children. Each div tag has a class flex item and also a class specific to the item number. Item one, item two, item three, and so on. Coming to the CSS, first we set a margin zero on the body. Next, on the container class, we set a really thick border because it's important that we are able to identify the boundaries of the container. So the border is six pixels solid black. The flex item class has font color, font size, padding, and text alignment properties. Each of the individual flex item classes have a background color to visually separate the items in the browser. Now, if you open the HTML file in the browser, you should be able to see this particular layout. You can see that we have nine items enclosed within the container that has a solid black border. Now, let's focus on our very first property, which is the display property. To create a flex container, we make use of the display property and set it to a value of flex. So in the CSS, on the container class, display flex. Now, if I refresh the browser, you can immediately see the change. The items are now laid out from left to right instead of the traditional way where the divs stack up top to bottom. Also, you can make out from the border that the container has 100% width, so it does behave similar to a block level element. If you do not want a block level flex container, you set the display property to inline flex to create an inline flex container. So let's go back to the CSS file and change flex to inline flex. Now, if I refresh, keep an eye on the border, and you can see that the border now wraps around the flex items. The container only takes up enough width to accommodate its children. And make sure the display property is always set or none of the other properties are going to work on the flex container. That's all there is to the display property. So the display property is used to create either a block level or inline level flex container. The possible values are flex and inline flex. All right then, let's take a look at the next property.